tell the customers to bring down and how did you catch your fish? On I'd what? say the majority of our bigger fish come on deep crankbaits. I'd say uh, the bomber fat free shads, but my number one lure is Rapala DT20 in the bright and also in the natural pattern there. Uh, Are you the, fishing it fast, Wayne? Slow? Fast, very fast. Fast as, as you can fast move it. Fast as right? you can move it, yeah, until your arms are falling off. <laughs> <laughs> what else were your popular baits? Uh, let me see the skinny dippers, black and blue, and uh, spinner baits. Spinner baits, spinner yeah. Baits. yeah down guys, deep. A lot of guys were fishing slow rolling that spinner bait. I understand you caught some on a spinner bait. Yeah, too, right? chartreuse uh, down about 20 feet. Now, toward the end of the trip, the uh, black and blue jigs and the shade of the trees and the cliffs uh, was actually working pretty good. Down about 20 feet again too. Um, you know, it's for us, it was the, the good old El Salto standards worked. The skinny dippers, we heard a lot about deep diving crankbaits before we got down here. The fat free shad was working very well. We were using some uh, DT, uh, Norman DD20s, they were working well. All your deep diving crankbaits were working good. Spinner baits down along the bottom jigs in the trees it's just the same old story you know um, do a little research before you get down here get on the internet look at which baits are working talk to guys that have been down here before you can get all the information you need on the internet and this is my eighth trip down here and from what i've seen it's a meat and potatoes fishery it's all your 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 standard el salto baits that you need to bring down here every time your power worms your deep diving crank baits your big spinner baits, they all work. It just depends on the spot that you're fishing. Listen to your guide, he'll tell you exactly where you need to cast, what baits you need to fish, the speed at what you need to fish them. This particular trip here, for us, it was deep diving crankbaits, skinny dippers, and spinner baits were the top baits for us. What was your big fish for uh, your group for this week? Uh the, the biggest fish for our group, there's a group of 13 of us. We all are affiliated with the sport fishing industry in San Diego, so we know how much work goes into a place like this. All of, our, all of the fishermen in our group, the biggest one was right at 12 pounds. Lots and lots and lots of six to eight pounders. Uh, the 12 pounder was the biggest. My dad had a nine pounder this morning. Plenty of seven pounders mixed in, just unbelievable fishing. What would you say your average daily catch work per um, day with two sessions. Yeah, you know, it, it was all over the place. We had a group with us that had never fished for bass before, and they were catching, you know, 30 to, to 40 bass a day. Then we have guys that are, are pretty much professional fishermen. They fish for a living, and they were catching well over 100 bass a day. It just depends on how hard you want to work, uh, how, how serious you are about it, the potential is here, guys. The potential is in the lake to have the best fishing you have ever seen in your entire life. It's all a matter of doing your homework, listening to your guides, uh, keeping an open mind, and how hard do you want to go. You, you can fish a couple hours and relax and sit down and drink cervezas, or you can grind crankbaits till your arms fall off and you got a shot at catching 200 fish a day. It's up to you. Hey, well, thanks for choosing Anglers In. I know there's a lot of choices, Ryan, and we appreciate your business. You're very welcome. Yeah, talk to me. You guys are on your way out the door, right? It's a long days of fishing, but it is fun. It's plenty of fun, I'll tell you what. You guys caught them on everything from what I understand. What was your big fish? Yeah, big fish, it was, uh, I had a 8.6, and it was off a of crank. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, cranking a lot, yeah. And your dad? Huh, my dad, 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Pretty large like fish. That. How about you, partner? I got a 7.12 on a crank. That's a big fish, buddy. Yeah, it was. How was the fight, man? How did it, it was, feel when it hit It was alright. It hit me pretty strong. But, uh, it almost ripped bad. the rod out of your hand. I yeah, it did. it did. You know, people fish a lifetime and never caught a 7.9. You That's know crazy. that? It's <laughs> crazy. And you came down the first time you got bass fish, right? Yeah. That is cool. Congratulations, man. You guys are on your way to maybe the Bass Bass <laughs> Classic, huh? Tell you what, I'll see you there. All right, man. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, here we have some guys just leaving out. Fish four nights, three and a half days. Let's tell the people, if you were coming down next week, what would you tell our anglers for our fishing report, what you caught your fish on this week? Well, first thing you want to do is get out there as early as you can, get some top water action. We did actually pretty good, even though they said it was kind of slow, we caught some really nice fish out there. What bait, baits were you using for your top uh, water? I would say buzz baits were probably the top thing, getting more hits on them than anything else. And then there's a, the secret lure. What's that <laughs> thing called, Lou? It's made by Jackal. It's made by Jackal. Okay. Colors, you guys, yeah, on top water? Uh, we're white. 
I'd say White was working as good as anything, you know, and uh, got a few hits on the Ricos too. And Lou was getting some on some, uh, the Sammy also. Sammy, also Rico, walking, yeah, yeah. White. Right, White was about the crank best. Crankbaits? Yeah. What were you fishing in your crankbaits? Well, the citrus shad colored big the ones. The famous old citrus uh, shad. That doesn't you change. Know, that doesn't same change. stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all pretty good. How about and your then, plastic? Uh, plastics, the big uh, power worms, black and blue. Black and blue has been famous here for 22 yeah, years. You and the same thing wrong. with the lizards, the watermelon, red, red, flake, red flake lizards. Uh, they were all working pretty good. Uh, there, a few jig bites, you know. I thought the jig fishing to me was a little slow. How many would you say, the two sessions, two guys, did you average per day? Two sessions per day? Uh, Total fish caught per day, more or less. You know, about 100, 100 and a half. About 100, between 100 and 150 fish a day. That's two sessions, two guys. And uh, yeah. your big fish, what were your group? Uh, big fish was 8'6". He got me by an ounce. <laughs> Well, you'll get them next time. I'll right? get them next time, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, there's your fishing report from four guys headed back to San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, check in with anglersin.com. We'll keep you posted. Thanks for fishing with Anglers right, Inn. I know there's a lot of choices. We'll be back there. again, okay? Hey, thank you, All man. Right, we good. appreciate your business. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we got some guys from uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Bob and Tony. They're on their way out the door, and we'd like to get a fishing report from these guys so everybody knows what's going on down here at Lake Al Salto. Bob, tell me about your fishing. How many fish did you average a day, would you say, oh, in two we, sessions? Uh, 75 to 100, probably. 75 yeah, to 100? Your big fish? A big fish? No, my big fish, 10 5. 10 5. What'd you catch that fish on? Watermelon lizard. Oh, the, watermelon the old watermelon. Lizard. Yeah. When you can't catch them on anything, you throw the watermelon, right? Oh, yeah. Several big, all big fish. I mean, uh, several, several over eight pounds. Yeah. Great, well, great trip. You stayed with watermelon lizard we the entire with, four days? Uh, yeah, we threw a couple other baits, but watermelon lizard, yeah, like always. How deep were you catching them? Um, 8 to 10, 12 foot, yeah. And you got some, how many eights did you get? Just ballpark. Oh, part. gosh, probably, what, Tony? Probably about 8 or 10. Yeah, probably 8 or 10. Yeah. Wow, that's good fishing, huh? Yeah, great fishing. And big fish again? Tony, Tony caught the biggest fish. Tony. <laughs> well, you got ten what? Years. Uh, ten two. Ten two. No, no, no. Ten, ten five. Ten five. Was ten my five. Big Congratulations, yes, man. How you. about you, Tony? What did you catch your fish on? Watermelon lizard. <laughs> there you go. Watermelon <laughs> lizard again. Yeah, huh? Watermelon yeah. lizard. You guys know how my to worm guide. fish. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, the Okies know how to worm fish. That's oh sure. yeah. Well, I listened to my guide. He told me to fish with it, and I fished with it the whole yeah. trip. Armando. Yeah. Give me a little bit about how, did it give you a good fight? Did it jump? Oh yeah, it fought. How yeah. many times did it come out of the water? Oh, uh, it came out about two or three times. Every time it came out. started pumping. Oh yeah, it'd get boom, to boom, pumping, boom, boom. get to yeah. pumping, and I thought, oh man, please get the net on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Tony, I was down at the docks, and I could just about hear you when you came around the corner. Uh, oh, and then yeah. when I seen that smile on your face. <laughs> you already knew what happened. And you ran you? back and said, I got to talk to my boss, man, for bringing <laughs> yeah. me down here, oh, right? Yeah. That's uh Bennett Construction? Yes, sir. Bennett Steel, yes, yes sir. sir. You work with Bennett as well? Yes, sir. Yes. Well, that's, yeah. He's a cool guy, man, and for him to bring you down here, and yeah. that's a tough fish to beat now. You got a big fish on your board to, uh, when you come back. You got, now you need a 12. Now right? I need a 12. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to get reason it to come I back. Come back. Yep. <laughs> per day, you guys, how many, how many yeah, fish? Yeah, probably you? about 75 Same. to 100. 75 yeah, to 100. 100. There's a fishing report from the shores of Lake Al Salto. We appreciate you checking in on us, and hearing what our customers have to say. Thanks a lot for fishing with Anglers in. You oh, bet. yeah. Now, we really appreciate it. Everything else Thank okay? Service, everything Service, you guys? perfect. Excellent. Everything, everything about our trip was excellent. Yeah. You didn't burn up during the day, did you? No, not me. You uh, were in air conditioning. Air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Come down and see us at Anglers in.